Welcome, my constant reader friends. I'm Tad, and this is Tad Reads Books and Stuff. All right, so let's do a quick reading update. I'm still doing The Preacher. This is with Graz from the GKBC, and this is our marvelous team-up that we do every couple weeks where we read graphic novels. We're in book three now of Preacher. So be looking forward to that next video coming out this week sometime, probably. <laughs> um, I've got to catch up a little bit. Sorry. But moving on. Uh, I'm doing the summer super size, super small reading challenge. Uh, I did this last year. It was uh, initiated by Kim, the paper traveler. Please check out her channel. Also, this year there's a, there's several um, co-captains for this challenge. Graz from the GKBC is back, of course. Uh, June uh, at Livriomer is back again. And I think there's a couple other ones. Uh, I'll look those up and put a link to everybody's channel in my notes. And yeah, so I started it. We have to read one supersized book over 700 pages. I chose... The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Rothfuss. <laughs> Not easy for me to say. Look at this. I'm almost done with it already. This is a beautiful, uh, what is it, 10th anniversary edition. Uh, I'm having a blast with it. I give it away. I'm really liking it. Reading through it much easier than last year's. Um, so I'm going to finish this probably tonight or tomorrow. So that's a plus finishing it in July. Also, as part of the super the super small size is a book under 200 pages. I chose my very first Hardy Boys. Yeah, the Hardy Boys Tower Treasure. This is actually number one in this book series. I'm going to go over all the numbers and everything. This book actually was gifted to me by Graz from the GKBC. Uh, I had mentioned I had never read The Hardy Boys. He loves The Hardy Boys. He sent me a couple copies. So I chose this as my super small, super big, my super small, <laughs> under 200 pages. I'm hoping, we're going to talk about this because I finished this. I'm hoping to finish uh, Name of the Wind and get on to Sister's uh, Sister of Starlight Lit Seas by Terry Brooks, and that's the third book uh, in that series. Hopefully, I'll get it done in July. we still got over a week left, so I, I should be able to get that done too, which is awesome because August is coming up, and in August, I'm going to be doing the Garbagist uh, read uh, long read, read a whatever their <laughs> Garbagist. I'm going to talk more about Garbagus next week. I'll give my list of books that I'm reading, and I'll talk more about that next week. But if you want to, look it up. Hashtag Garbagus. I did it last year. had a blast. So I'm going to do it again this year. All right. So let's talk about Hardy Boys, uh, The Tower Treasure, book number one. So Tower Treasure is book number one in this series, and we'll talk about this a little bit. Um... Now, it's written by Franklin W. Dixon. Who's Franklin W. Dixon? Well, it's a pseudonym. Yeah, there were several different authors that wrote under the name of Franklin W. Dixon for this series. In my research, I found out that Franklin W. Dixon, that pseudonym, was also used in the Ted Scott Flying Stories. Ted Scott flying stories. So there's another series of stories that they use the same pseudonym, uh, Franklin W. Dixon. I thought that was kind of cool. Don't know anything about those books. Uh, but now I'm getting into <laughs> the Hardy Boys. Let's get the numbers out of the way. This one was published in 1959. It has 180 pages, so I made it under the 200 pages. And currently on Goodreads, it has a 3.70 rating. I rated it a 3. Average book, good story, quick read. Pretty simple. Um, 
But let's talk a little bit more about the Hardy Boys. I remember watching the TV series uh, back in the day, and I wasn't even a fan of that. I didn't watch it very often, a little bit. They kind of did this thing, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys uh, TV series, and like I think one weekend it would be the Hardy Boys, and next weekend it would be Nancy Drew stories. Um, it was pretty cool, I guess, but never really my cup of tea growing up, and I never really read these. So let's talk about this. So this is, you're not going to be able to see it, but this book series is a Grosset and Dunlap series. This is book number one. Now, the original books, the original Hardy Boy books began publication in 1927. That's crazy. And the original series ran from 1927 to 2005. Over 190 novels or volumes. And, but this one began in 1959. And what I wanted to read about it, like on the front here, oh, look at this picture. That's a cool picture. So, I, cause I was looking up, you know, when was it published? All it says is 1959, all rights reserved. But then it's got a note that says, in this new story, based on the original of the same title, Mr. Dixon has incorporated the most up-to-date methods used by police and private detectives. Well, yeah, I guess. But that's not really why Grosset and Dunlap started printing these books, reprinting these books with some revisions and some updates. They really had to attack some of the social issues that the original books, oh, you know, almost like being a woke society, right? You got to start watching how books were written about other ethnic groups and things like that back in 1927 to now 1959 when they, you know, revised these. So that was a big reason was, you know, changing the social issues. And they also wanted to make it a little bit more child friendly, more YA friendly, um, easy to read, short sentences, you know, short chapters, things like that. I think they succeeded wildly. I know tons of people that collect these. Um, they republished the first 38 books in this series. And then there's been other series. There's been tons of other series. There's been several TV shows. There's been movies. There's been comic book series. All, I mean, it's a huge, huge IP. And um, beloved. Some people just love that. I, I, my job, I go in people's homes all the time. And just last week, I went to two homes that had full collection of these on their bookshelves. And it was fun because I was able to talk about it a little bit. But um, if you don't know the Hardy Boys, of course, we've got Frank and Joe. And they're the children of Fenton Hardy, who is a world-renowned, famed uh, private detective. And they have aspirations of becoming famous detectives themselves. They're actually in high school at this point. Um, some of the different series bring them, you know, into the more like college age and, and things like that. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Um, again, not my cup of tea as far as IPs went. Maybe it was too wholesome for, for me. These kids are too good, too nice. I don't know. Um, I actually, I'm, I'm going to do something in, well, I'm doing Garb August, September. September, I'm going to do something where I go back and I read the first three or four books that I ever read when I, I can't remember reading when I was a child that my mother gave to me. I've got them uh, set aside over here on the bookshelf. I'm going to read them and you'll see there was another detective story that I read be, before, you know, I, like I said, I never read this, that I read that actually got me wanting to read more detective stories, and I just went straight into Sherlock Holmes. So I missed out on this. Um, I read this in, well, it took me four days, but really 
Um, I could have done it in two days, even at the slow pace that I read at. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's very, I could see where it could be addictive. You can rip through these, have a jolly good time, um, bring you back, you know, to your childhood. If you read these in, in your childhood, uh, and, and I, I don't know, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I gave it a three, you know, there, there's nothing special to me about it. Maybe if I would have read it when I was younger, it'd be more nostalgic, more special. But thank you, Graz, for sending it to me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if uh, any of you out there are big Hardy Boys fans, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite story was. Maybe I can, you know, if, if I see that like four or five people pick the same one, then I'll know that's the one to, to go read. So maybe I'll read that next. But then I've got two from Graz, so I'll read those eventually. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and please send me some comments. I love the comments. And as usual, until next time, peace out.